Good evening lizards and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a doll haul to show you guys. So obviously Black Friday happened recently and usually I go to this one thrift store that puts all this really good stuff out on Black Friday, but this year they had nothing. The only thing Monster High related they had was the Ghoulmobile. I didn't find any good brats. I didn't find any brats. They just had nothing good this year. So instead I went to like normal stores like Target and Walmart and stuff. And I didn't find anything at Walmart, but I did find some stuff at bargain stores, or, um, what are they called? Discount stores, like TJ Maxx and stuff. So, um, yeah, let's get right into the, into the haul, yeah. Let's do it. So here's my two bags. There is some stuff in here. We'll start with the first thing, because this is going to be weird to you guys. I don't think I ever mentioned that I was doing this, but, um, it's Monster Ball Draculaura. So she was on sale for $15, and um, I don't think I ever mentioned this to you guys, but the reason you haven't seen my own Monster Ball Draculaura in a while is because she needed to be replaced. Basically, I messed up her hairstyle, and I didn't know how to fix it, so I returned the one whose hairstyle I messed up. Don't worry, I didn't cut it or anything. I literally just messed up the bun on her head, like, really badly. So I just returned her, and then I got her on sale. <laughs> So, um, yeah, no review on her because I've already reviewed this doll, but I have her again, and now her hair is not a mess. Although she does look a little wonky. Not gonna lie, though, I don't really care. I actually might just leave her in the box, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I got Monster Ball Draculaura again. So now I have the full line reunited once more. Although, seeing the designs for the show, I'm starting to wish that they would expand Monster Ball and do a release for, like... Abby, because that would be nice. Ignore my super fucked up nails, by the way. They're a disaster. So yeah, Draculaura aside, we have two other things to look at, and you guys are gonna laugh at me. You're gonna laugh. And you know what? I won't judge you for it. I will allow it. I will allow your laughter. I bought back the two members of Neon Shadow that I sold in my first ever purge. So here they are, Mara and Uma. Uh, I already owned these dolls a while ago, and I sold them, but I bought them again. And you wanna know why? Because I realized that I was sad not having the full band. Harley is one of my favorite Shadow High dolls of all time. Like, I love her. I keep her up here with Bella and Jade. That means that she's one of the best, and she is. I love her. You know, like I, I, I do. And I realized that I did regret no longer having Mara and Uma. So when I went to Marshall's, I think it was, TJ Maxx, damn it. I always mix those two up. I went to a TJ Maxx and I found them together. And they both happen to be pretty perfect. Like obviously Mara's hair is a mess and needs to be fixed. I'll do that if I unbox her. I'm not sure if I'm going to, but if I, um, if I do, you know, like her makeup is really good. It was pretty perfect. The teeth aren't, like, overpainted or anything. She doesn't seem to have any, like, body issues, which is good. You know. Um, as for Uma over here, she has no staining, notably. Well, at least I thought she had no staining. What the hell is that above her eyebrow? Is that a shadow or a stain? I can't tell. But her face is really good. I actually like the overlined eyeshadow under her eyes. It gives her kind of a tired look. This was the only Uma my store had to choose from, though. So, um, I would have gotten her either way. She's cute. I did shit on her not too long ago. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just prefer this outfit, so I would put her in this one. Well, no, actually, I would keep the pants. I would just swap the shirt and the jacket to be on her. That's a cute idea, actually. I should do that. So, um, yeah, I have Mara and Uma again now. <laughs> I feel goofy for it, but I like Neon Shadow as a group, so I wanted to have everybody again. Especially since I'm about to have the entire Royal Three. That's right, the mini clickbait is over. I finally got Minnie. She will be coming soon, and I will make a video about her when I do. When I get her, I mean. I don't know how to talk. But yeah, these three make up the core of what I got for Black Friday, technically. I actually just bought these two today, so I don't think they count, but because TJ Maxx usually only gets good stuff like this, like around the holidays, I'm counting it. I'm 
considering that, counted. I have gotten some other stuff lately though, stuff I haven't really shown in videos, so we're just gonna make this like an ultra big haul of me just showing you guys all my recent purchases because I've made a lot, I've made a lot of purchases. Here's one, it's Moa Lola Felicia. One of my friends was selling her and um, she's a good friend of mine. I, I like this friend, she's very cool. So I bought her Moa Lola Felicia, Moa Lola. Is it Moa Lola, is that how you say it? But um, yeah, I realized I regretted not buying this Felicia, especially because I was, I was waiting for them to go on sale. I really thought these dolls were going to go on sale. And as far as I know, I don't think they ever went on like a major sale. They did like go on like minor clearances and such, but nothing that ever like pushed me to buy her. And then I ended up missing out on her because currently resellers on Amazon and Target have her for $90, which I didn't want to pay. My friend sold me this doll for 40 bucks, which is more than fair, very good price. She does not have her second outfit, which is fine by me because I don't like it. I don't like the second outfit. I think this is her better outfit, so I'm pretty happy with her. Also, her heels are huge and make her the size of a rainbow high box. That's crazy. Another thing that I bought recently was two Bratz dolls that have been on my wish list for like, I want to say a year or two now. It's been a while. I've always wanted these two. But I bought them from a friend who had actually previously sold me dolls. Um, he sold me my Peyton and Nevea, who I've had for a very long time. Peyton has most of her stuff. I didn't have to worry about completing her, but Nevea, I have been missing all of her stuff the entire time I've owned her. But without further ado, here are the two dolls that I bought from my friend. We've got Treasures Jade and Basketball Jade, who, honest to God, Basketball Jade has been one of my, like, number one most wanted Bratz dolls for a very long time, and... I couldn't be happier to finally own her. And Treasures Jade is just gorgeous. I really love her and I've been wanting her for a long time, so I'm very happy to now own her as well. So you may notice that Jade looks a bit odd and it's because, according to my friend, she had like pink permanent marker over her eyeshadow. So obviously he removed that. It did leave her eye slightly damaged here. Like you can see like the top eyelash is a bit faded. But personally, I don't mind. It sold me this doll for like a really low price, so I don't mind the damages. I just have to get her like an outfit. She's got her shirt, but I don't have anything else for her. I mean, I might have a pair of boots to give her. Yeah, you know, I think I do. I can steal one from my extra Chloe. Yeah. As for Basketball Jade, I don't have any of her stuff. I thought her outfit was available on AliExpress, but I couldn't find it. So this doll is in great condition. Her hair is very silky smooth and soft. My friend redid her hairstyle before shipping her off to me, so she's got her braids done. And the only issue this doll has is, it's under her hair, so you can't even see it, a very small pen stain, like ink. Please focus on the doll. Yeah, there's like a pen stain on her. There's also a small gap in her blush from it, but um, her hair kind of covers it anyway, so... It doesn't really bug me. I don't really care. So yeah, my friend sold me these two for like a super cheap price and I'm very happy with both of them. I never thought I would own either of these dolls unless I thrifted them. So it's definitely crazy to have them in hand. I mean, Jade especially. They're both Jade. Basketball Jade especially. Treasures Jade I feel like has been getting slightly more common, like a little teensy bit. Plus I think the Treasures line has a good chance of getting a reproduction because it features all of the main four characters basketball and teams and all that. The teams dolls I don't feel like are likely to get reproductions ever. Sasha was never included in any of the lines and they would have to like add Jade too to some of them. Like, I'm trying to think of an example. Most of the time the lines would be Yasmin, Chloe, uh, Jade, and somebody else, you know, some other fourth person. So I guess all they would have to do is make a Sasha. So who knows, maybe they might repro the teams dolls sometime. I don't know. If they ever did Team's Tennis Jade, though, that would go crazy. I want her without spending $500. So yeah, these are the three brats that I bought from friends recently. I love them all. <laughs> I really didn't think I would like the Moa Lola dolls as much as I do, but honestly, they're better than I expected. I shouldn't have judged them so harshly. My next goal was to get Jade. She's currently in stock on Walmart, so I'll have to buy her at some point. I don't know when, but um... Considering I just got these two jades, I think my jade radar is satisfied. 
my jade craving. I don't, I don't know what to word it. Another thing I got recently that I haven't been able to show off in a video is this inbox mycene, so we're just gonna put her here as well. This is my Icy Bling Delancey. I paid around $60 for her, which was super cheap. Um, I love her. <laughs> All of her accessories have stayed in place for the most part. Some of them fell. Um, the hairbrush fell. That's the only thing that fell. But yeah, I considered unboxing her, but I don't know how to open this box without ripping it to shreds, so... She'll be staying in there, yeah. So yeah, these are all of my recent purchases. Um, I basically just put Delancey here because I wanted her to be in a thumbnail. But yeah, I'm happy with all my stuff. I was gonna wait to do this haul video when I got Minnie finally, but I'll just make a whole video dedicated to Minnie. I think it could be fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And once again, thank you guys so much for helping me reach 50,000 subscribers. It's just such a crazy milestone. I honestly never thought that I would ever reach. So yeah, I've been very happy about that lately. And I'm trying to think of something to do for a 50K subscriber special. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see for that, other than a face reveal, that's never happening. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments. And yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.